Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog .com, and welcome to this Fun Fridays project. Now I have something retiring and something new. Um, the new is a sneak peek and this is the retiring badges and banners and also the punch. My sneak peek is the Artisan Textures stamp set. I was lucky enough to win this on Prize Patrol um, in April when we had a on-stage local event. We lost Gorgeous Grunge, if you remember, but I think this is equally nice. I'm applying it to this really quick and simple card. So let's gather our supplies. I'm using Whisper White thick cardstock. This is a standard European size, which is eight and a quarter inches up the top and five and seven eighth inches along the side. In metric, that will be 21 centimeters by 14.85 centimeters. With a long side on the top, you score at four and one eighth, which is 10.5 centimeters, and fold it in half. A piece of Whisper White to stamp on and for punching out the badges and banner. Out of navy and lemon lime twist. Duet banner punch, I think. And the badges punch. We'll also need some washi tape. I'm using the Basics 3 and Basics 2. Both of these are retiring. And I've picked out the two grid ones um, from each set. So it's just those two that we need. So let's get started. First I'm going to ink up the Lemon Lime Twist Badge and I'm going to stamp it at the edge of the paper so that my punch can reach. I've cleaned my stamp and now I'm going to ink it up with Knight of Navy. Bring in my badge punch and punch at the two badges. Now I'm going to stamp the banner. Swap punches. So now let's assemble our card, stick the washi tape on and I'm using my grid paper to make sure that this is straight. This is the front of the card and I'll just use the washi tape end to end like this so that I make sure it's in uh, right in the middle. Grab my scissors, put this one directly underneath buttered up to the top one, snip that off, lift it up and then on the reverse side trim off the excess. Glue the Knight of Navy badge directly onto the cardstock, pop this one on a dimensional the lemon lime twist one. And stagger it. Pop the banner on a dimensional as well. And glue that on top. And just a tiny bit of stamping just up there and down here and for the inside of the card. How quick and easy was that? I'll show you what else you can do with the badge punch. You need a few additional supplies to make this owl so the basic one is just the badge the punch punched out of plain cardstock in crumb cake and I stamped this in crumb cake as well, this image, then die cut second smallest sweet and sassy framelit dies to for the owl's middle. 
and die cut uh, one in crumb cake for his wings. I cut it in half to make the wings. I used a three quarter inch circle punch to punch out these eyes <clears throat> and then from the cookie cutter punch I punched out um, the little heart for his beak in pumpkin pie and um, black circles with the larger of this pair of um, circle punches and then um, the smaller ones I punched out his eyes. For the birdcage image um, I used washi tape um, to decorate this piece here and the wood words this is staying and will be transferring into the new catalogue and I actually use this punch, this part of the punch, to punch out this scallop detail on the cardstock. So all you have to do is... We're not going to be actually using this I'll in draw. pen so you can see it better. So I simply drew a line in pencil, like so. And then you find the centre and you align your the scallops here onto the line and then this edge here you line up with the edge of the punch align that along and punch again then to do it from this side to the left toward the left you line up this side and there you have your scallop. For this card I used both the Happy Birthday Gorgeous stamp set, this image and that image uh, from Artisan Textures and to get that effect I use the Stamparatus stamped directly onto Bermuda Bay cardstock and because if you're stamping on cardstock other than Whisper White um, sometimes you don't get a very clear image so that's where this tool is absolutely invaluable and just in a couple of weeks time you'll be able to buy your own. If you miss the windows don't worry it's coming out soon as of 1st of June because it's in the new catalogue. So I rep repeatedly stamped it so I get this lovely dark image and making the Bermuda Bay pop. For this card I did the same thing, I stamped that onto directly onto a Bermuda Bay cardstock and then swapped plates, this time using the number one which is this badge and stamping directly onto pool party cardstock so that it made the pool party portion pop out. Punch this out with the 1 and 3 8 inch punch and matted it with dimensionals on um, a plain pool party badge. Then I used these images, this one and that one, oops, this one and that one um, to embellish that with. So that's just a few ideas on how you can use the badge and banners stamp set and punch. Here's the one we made today. They're great for masculine cards and I hope I've convinced you that you've just got to have it. The links to the product are below this video in the show more section. They'll also be listed on my blog at blog.stampwithelaine.com. You can find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll be back soon. Bye!